And it's the most allies the Athletic Teachers Association has ever had. Out of seven YISD board members, the teachers union had a hand in getting four trustees elected and maintains a strong relationship with the board's president. Tonight, ABC 7's Ashley Rodriguez is looking into whether this gives the union an upper hand in district policy. She's live tonight. Ashley? This year, YISD received an additional $8 million in state funding. So in June, the board decided to put that towards teacher and staff raises. But the move came under criticism because YISD badly needs new schools and because the majority of the board is endorsed by the Teachers Association. Woodrow, Rosales, and Ramirez all got a lot of help winning their elections from the Isleta Teacher Association. Proud of getting their candidates on the dais, YTA snapped this pick, captioning it, Election night was a total success. That's three trustees in addition to the two YTA already supports on a board of seven. Remember, we help them. We help them with their campaign, but we don't vote. It's the voters who vote them in. Even so, there's the perception YTA has more power than ever before, especially after the district received an additional $8 million from the legislature and the board voted to put $6 million towards raises, teacher raises taking up half. I'm all in favor of that, but to give all of our additional monies for employee benefits and raises, I think that does a disservice to our children. The concern is YISD's aging facilities and technologically inferior classrooms. After their multi-million dollar bond election failed, the thinking is extra money could be better served elsewhere. The roofs are in bad condition. We need you know, buildings that aren't sinking. And so if we give three quarters of these additional monies and benefits in addition to whatever uh, the increase in health insurance is going to be, I don't think I'm doing my job to be an advocate for the child. You cannot separate the teacher from the student. When you talk about trying to help the students, that teacher has to be right there with them. They're there in the trenches eight hours a day. I spoke with trustees Sotero Ramirez and Connie Woodruff who agree. Woodruff telling me, I don't feel like I'm influenced because I was helped by the YTA. I feel like I'm doing the best thing for the kids. They're the teacher organization. And what do teachers do? They teach our students. So why would, why would I want to have an adversarial relationship with someone who would be a fantastic asset in providing the best education we can for our students? And it's a similar story on the other side of town. If EPISD's penny swap election passes, they too will get an additional $9 million in state funding, which they want to put towards teacher and staff raises. And like YISD, EPISD also has aging school buildings, and they're considering holding a bond election as well. Back to you. Ashley, thank you very much.